Hello, stock investors. I'm Jerry Ron coming at you from Barbados for another week. Well, yesterday, energy stocks were the hottest S&P 500 sector and they were up a whopping 3.35%. So today we're covering four energy stocks that could double in the next year. Today's video is being brought to you by Webull. And if you'd like to get two free stocks worth up to $1,850, be sure to use the link down below. All right, let's kick things off today with a success story from Reeks Havoc. Swing trading this guy again. Reeks Havoc took a quick 21% profit on SEAL and and this is one stock that we've been able to wash, rinse, and repeat. Great job, wreaks havoc. And if you want to take your investing to the next level, check out our private Patreon to receive our daily hot stocks and trade alerts. Now's the time to hit that like and subscribe button, then grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. We all know that oil stocks took a thrashing last year and Morgan Stanley said yesterday that they expect the global oil industry to outperform the market in the next year and I've been quietly loading up on oil stocks so let's take a look at a few companies that might not be on your radar. We're starting with Viper Energy Partners stock ticker VNOM. Viper Energy specializes in oil and natural gas properties in North America. Our beast mode scorecard shows Viper Energy is up 55% year to date, 169% in the last six months and 120% in the last Last year. Their PE ratio is negative 6.1. Price to sales ratio is 11.8. Their revenue growth forecast is impressive at 42.3%. Let's take a quick look at tip ranks and I've got a link for that down below. Tip rank shows Viper Energy is rated as a moderate buy with a high price target of $21. Our first stock is Viper Energy, ticker VNOM. At the top, we've got our percent change, and this tells us how much the stock has changed over time, and it's very helpful. Then we've got our ATR, and that stands for the average true range, and that tells me that this stock, on average, moves about 80 cents per day, and that's based on a price of $18.40, and that represents 4% of the current price. And the recommended trail stop on Viper Energy is 11%, and we can see that our volume is currently down about 18%. When we're looking at the rest of the chart here, this is what we call a nice upward channel, and I call these the railroad tracks, and it's formed between the 20-day moving average and the 50-day moving average, and this is what we'd love to see, and it's very common for stocks to trade at or just above that 20-day moving average, come down and touch it just like it did here, and then just for that cycle to repeat, and that's what the stock has been doing. It recently shot down below that 50-day moving average, and now it's continuing the upward path. And then what else can we see here? We can see that we've got an earnings coming up here very soon. Anytime you hold over earnings, that's always an additional risk, and I don't recommend it most of the time. Then we can also see this stock has been paying a dividend, and the last one was 14 cents. When we look at our indicators, we've got the PMC indicators, which is one of my favorite. I love to buy it when it's in the blue bars. And our MACD indicator is another one that I like, and we can simply play red light, green light on this. If we've got a green arrow, that's a green light to buy. That's the time that we want to get into the stock. A red arrow is a good time to sell or to hold off on buying. And then you just simply play red light, green light, and we can see we had a green light right back here at this time, just after this signal here, and the stock has been going up very nicely since then. Next up, we have Philips 66, and their stock symbol is PSXP. Philips 66 is one of America's largest oil refiners and has the capacity to refine 2.2 million barrels of oil per day in both the US and Europe, making it the second largest independent refiner behind Valero Energy. Philips 66 is the most conservative pick today, but I wanted to cover them as a basis for comparison. Our Beast Mode scorecard shows Philips 66 is up 39% year to date, 55% in the last six months. Their PE ratio is 10.9 and their price to sales ratio is 7.8. Next up, we have Philips 66, which is a major name in the oil industry. Its ATR is $1.20, which represents 3% of the price. The recommended trail stop is 8% and the volume is currently down. When we look at the chart here, everything is looking pretty good. It was going sideways for a while, which is when I don't want to be into a stock. And then we've got an upward channel that started right here. It's going pretty strong right now. And one thing that they're doing that's pretty sneaky is they're paying their dividends right at the time that they report, which is which means people are more likely to hold over dividends in that reporting time frame. So pretty sneaky move on them right here. And I kind of like them and respect them for it. Next, we've got our PMC indicator. We can tell that we've been in the blue buy zone for a little while. We've had a real nice run up. And I would wait on this one to come back down closer to that 20 day moving average before getting into it. And on our MACD, we're also in a green green light zone and we've been going strong for a little while. Best bet on this one is wait until after earnings before you do anything and consider it. And also this is my least favorite stock of the day. These guys are doing well in the last six months. They're up 44%, which is good. But I do think the other stocks are stronger, but I wanted to include these guys for a comparison since this is a big name and a few of our other stocks are not. 
Our third company is Denbury, ticker symbol D-E-N. Denbury specializes in hydrocarbon exploration and they extract petroleum via enhanced oil recovery which utilizes carbon dioxide to extract the petroleum from fields that have been previously exploited. This approach significantly reduces the carbon footprint of the oil that Denbury produces, making them a cleaner oil company. Our scorecard shows Denbury is up 108% year to date and 225% in the last six months. Their PE ratio is negative 1.8, their price to sales ratio is pretty low at 3.5, and their revenue growth forecast is 19.5%. Next we have Denbury, ticker D-E-N, and this is what I call an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful chart, super sexy. We've got a beautiful set of railroad tracks, constant upward movement, everything is looking good. This stock trades just like clockwork, at or above that 20-day moving average, comes down, touches it, keeps going up, and then shoots up right back down, wash, rinse, and repeat. Beautiful looking stock. On our PMC indicator, we're in the blue bars, which we like, and we just had a MACD crossover three days ago. Our ATR on this is $2.70, which represents 5% of the price. And it's really important to know the ATR and that percentage because that tells you how volatile the stock is. And we use that in computing our trail stop, which should be right around 12% on this stock. So if you're looking for stocks that aren't very volatile, focus on a lower ATR and a lower trail stop percentage when you're looking at my charts. Next up, we've got the volume percentage. We're down a little bit. And if you'd like to get this TOS bar, it's inside my private Discord on the education channel. Our fourth company is Silverbow Resources, ticker symbol SBOW, and they are a Houston-based oil and gas energy company. With a market capitalization of $101 million, this means they are a small company and do not have the attention of many institutional investors. Our scorecard shows Silverbow Resources is up 84% year-to-date, 105% in the last six months, and 99% in the last year. Their P.E. ratio is negative 0.4, price-to-sales ratio is 7, which is pretty low, and their revenue growth forecast is an impressive 52.2%. We're now looking at Silverbow, ticker SBOW. They were up 2.26% today. We can see that their ATR is 40 cents, which represents 5% of the stock price, and the recommended trail stop is 11%. And one thing we've got on these guys, their volume is up 36%. So that's a really good sign because increased volume is normally a confirmation of the movement, and we're currently moving up. When we look at our PMC indicator, we're in the bright blue bars, which is where we want to be. And on our MACD indicator, we had a crossover a little over a week ago, and we do have earnings being reported in a couple of days on 5-5. So on May 5th, they're reporting earnings. On this one, I would recommend waiting until after earnings, and hopefully it's going to come back down near that 20-day moving average before it continues on. If you're an adrenaline junkie or you want to feel the rush, you get the rush of the ride, then you can jump in right now and see where it goes. Of course, I'll be sitting this one out. I like adrenaline in my personal life, not in my investing life. And now let me give you an update on two other oil stocks that I have and I'm holding. And I know some of you guys had lost the faith and you were like, hey man, they're not going up. It's oil. You've got got to be patient. These things can be a little bit volatile, and I still love these next two stocks. So right now, we're looking at Antero Resources, ticker AR. You can see that I'm currently down on this 2.43%. I'm not sweating it at all. It simply came down, tested that 50-day moving average. It's starting to go back up now. Again, this is a stock that I really like for the long term. When we look at the PMC indicator, we've got the green bar. It's just about to cross over and give us the bright blue bars that we want. And when that happens, this is what I want to see right here. Bright blue bars and the stock going up. We can also see that we just had a MACD crossover. So all things on this stock I really like. And I also just reported earnings yesterday. They were expecting earnings of 0.435 and they blew them out of the water at 0.62. So this is a company that I really like and it's one that I do think could double in the next year. I've got a previous video just on this stock and some great resources if you want to check it out. And our last stock is ticker TPL, Texas Pacific Land. And this is one of my favorite oil stocks. And that's because these guys own a lot of land and they make royalties on their oil. So instead of having to drill for the oil and do all of that themselves, they've outsourced that and they're simply a royalty company for the most part. So I love their business model. They don't have the expenses. And this is one that I'm looking to buy more of. Just picked up a buy signal on this the other day. And I'll probably be buying more of this stock this week. Their ATR is 75.7. It's a higher price stock at $1,000. $658. And the recommended trail stop is 11%. The volume has been very low on this lately. And my current profit on this is 2%. And again, this is a stock that I love for the long term and I'll be buying more of it. Looking at our PMC indicator, we're just about to get a crossover here. We've got the bright blue bars starting. And on our MACD, we're just about to have a crossover as well. 
Up next, we've got our question of the day. Is it too late to get into oil stocks as a recovery play? When you look at the yearly chart on crude oil, you'll see that it has been going up and I expect the demand will continue to rise until the world economies are back to normal. And as long as demand continues to increase, I expect oil stocks will increase as well. The chief executive officer at BP said China's oil demand is already above pre-pandemic levels. And just this week, OPEC decided to increase crude oil production because they are anticipating a strong demand rebound. I personally like the oil stocks right now, but if you you invest in them, you should understand they are volatile and not for the faint of heart. As always, my goal is to give as much value as I can. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell to see more videos just like this one. And if you want to take your investing to the next level, check out our Patreon community. Well, here's to cutting our losers fast and letting our winners run. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.